storytellers are where it starts. And to me, I see the barrier to entry to this business getting higher and higher. In some ways, this is very privileged work that we get to do. And we make a choice to go into a profession that is you know, high risk and potentially high reward. But the trick is in being able to put together a career and a life. If you have to get staffed on four shows in a year, that means you are never at any point able to really be learning on the job, be learning from the people that you're working with and actually be in the process of being dedicated to a story. You're not getting a chance to make residuals that will potentially allow you to have a bad year or an off year because those invariably come. People need to be able to build a life. And we are in one of the most expensive cities in the world, which has a huge impact on that as well. If you want great storytelling, if you want great films, if you don't want to just keep seeing the same thing again and again, that means having the patience and the empathy and the understanding to understand why we're out here and why we're doing this. There's something different at stake for me when I'm out here, but I was lucky enough to have an incredible group of writers. Like walking into that room, that writer's room, and like getting to experience that energy and the team that Eric Heiser put together was really an extraordinary thing. And you could feel the enthusiasm and the passion that people had, but you could also see that having these small rooms, these short mini rooms takes a toll on our writers. So the more we can support that, the more we can support storytelling, the more we can support diversity in front of the camera and behind it, the better off we're going to be. Not just as the people who are in the profession, this is like for the audience. If you want better programming, if you want better shows, this is the way to get it.